Molly tells me that you're trying to add fuel to the fire of your fight with your aunt. I don't know if I can help, but I can give you a tip. Justine always hated my cowboy hat. So I should wear a cowboy hat? No. Let me say more words. She hated my cowboy hat because it reminded her of Trish Stratus. Your aunt always resented Trish for being the face of the company. Trish always got more buzz, more press. Even now, Trish's face is on the side of the production truck, not Justine's. Wasn't Trish also a seven-time women's champion? She sure was. One more than Justine's six championship wins, which your aunt especially resented because before Trish came to WWE, she was a model, so Trish had to learn the business from the ground up. Justine always thought Trish got special treatment compared to someone like her, who worked in other promotions for WWE. What do you think? Is there something you can use there? Maybe. Let me think on it. I thought what you said in the ring was exactly on the money. And I'm happy to help you take Justine down by, how did you put it? Tear apart her past? That's it. I think Justine's plan is to steer clear of you before the WrestleMania match, which is official, by the way. But if you want to get the upper hand, you might not have to take the fight directly to Justine anyway. Taking some steps to remind Justine about her biggest regrets will go a long way. I have a few ideas, and I've already made some calls to get a couple of other WWE legends to help, too. I gotta ask, are you just helping me so that you can get back at my aunt? Oh, there's definitely an element of revenge to it. Do you know what it's like for people to think I'm the villain of my story? But I also meant what I said to you on day one at Survivor Series. I'm here to help you. Justine's so stuck in the past and her grievances that she's forgotten her obligation to help the next generation, even her own niece. Ain't that the truth. Are you ready to get started? I do have one idea that involves a certain red-haired, moonsaulting WWE legend. But with the amount of grievances your aunt has against this company, there's definitely more than one way to approach this. You talking about Lita? Who else could it be with that description? Let's start with her then. What are you thinking? One thing your aunt could never shut up about was that Lita got the first women's cage match in WWE, not her. A steel cage match with Lita would certainly rub that in her face. Lita's just going to agree to that? No, but if you lure her to Raw by making her think she's getting another Raw Women's Championship opportunity, confront her backstage and I bet you can get her in a match. After her near miss with Becky Lynch last year, she still got an itch. Done. I'll do it. WWE legend and Hall of Famer Lita has graced us with her presence here tonight. From behind, what is she doing here attacking Lita? No clue, but it looks like she wants a fight. And things backstage are getting quickly out of hand. Oh, they're done playing nice. They've got some serious aggression that needs to be worked out, and this just might be the best way to do it. Ooh. Oh, look at that scope slam. Oh. 
Single leg drop kick. Taking this fight out of that equipment pile. A lot of that equipment looks like it'll hurt. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. These road cases are not very forgiving. They're definitely not made to fight on. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Split leg drop. Not the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. She's getting back to her feet. But is there fight left? Diving seated senton! Absolutely incredible. Ooh, got caught with a punch to the face. Up and... Oh, spiked with a Frankensteiner. Ah, she fights Lita back. And that was a well-targeted attack. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. And the hits to the core keep coming. And there was some force on that move. Oh, strong impact. And double leg drop. Split-legged leg drop. Oh, roundhouse kicks, and then a leg sweep. Ah, sweep the leg. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. I like this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. What a spin kick. Lots of attention being put on the torso here. Yeah, it's obviously been targeted throughout this match. And she keeps delivering shots to the torso. She's been effectively targeting that area throughout this match. Ooh, look at her answering back. Great job refocusing to reverse that. One step ahead with the takedown. Big forearm. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Answering back. Reaching their opponent. And look at these. No official needed here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Yeah, I just hope no one was seriously hurt.